for Field and Rural Life magazine and we're here at Ram Brulee. Uh, always a pleasure to meet up with Ian and Laurence and as you will know in lots of the previous issues I always supply lots of editorial uh, through on their absolutely fantastic ranges. Now Ian you've been holding out over us in the winter now I think the designers have been working very hard back at uh, back in the factories haven't they? Now what, what, now what come on it, it, explain to us what's been happening. Well what we've done this year is uh, develop something which was primarily for people who are um, looking at uh, hunting in um, out in Africa let's say on the safaris oh, yes. uh, the kind of thing you'd be seeing out there these are crocodile boots they're made from top quality crocodile skin these uh, are absolutely stunning. I they mean, are, must be very they are. pleased with these. Very pleased with the result. Um, we've used the best materials that are available in Europe, uh, tanned by the same people that tanned for Hermès in Paris. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. And, of course, they're available bespoke, both in ladies and gents. Fabulous. They really are beautiful boots. Now, what else have, the, uh, well, what else have your designs been We've been, been thinking about on? the girls as well. Uh, we brought this little beauty this out. Is ever so elegant isn't it yeah it is and it's the kind of thing that you know you can wear um, if you're on safari uh, or even if you're up in town uh, it looks great goes well with a long skirt goes well with even jeans or whatever a uh, nice mixture of uh, canvas and leather um, we can supply these in about a dozen different colors as well Beautiful. and also with heels without heels pointed toes or what we're showing you here Lovely. Now, I know you have a clothing brand that um, you've recently taken over, which is a, a long-established business in France. Now, just explain to me about that. Right. Well, we've taken over, um, over the winter, we picked up uh, the, the brand Royal Hunter, uh, which was established back in the 1920s. Yes. Um, our idea is it's something that's totally complementary to the boots that we're making. Yes. Um, we're also offering a fully bespoke service with it as well. Uh, the clothing range is quite extensive. Uh, we have things for the people who are doing traditional mounted hunting, both in the UK and in France. Oh, yes. um, and of course, things... there's, a lot of, there's a lot of English people coming over hunting in France. Very, very popular now. There certainly it? are. Of course, I mean, we, we can offer over here, we can offer you the boar hunting, which yes. obviously you can't in the UK. Uh, big wide open spaces. A lot of the French uh, hunts or equipage are very keen to bring people in from the outside as well. Yes. Obviously, it helps them. It's a, it's a relatively expensive thing to keep up a a good hunt. Yes. Um, it's also very interesting for the Brits who want to come over because it's a totally different culture. Yes. Um, it's probably a bit more fun and free perhaps than it can be in some of the, uh, the yeah, northern countries. Home. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so yes, we've, we've developed uh, or we are developing new products to go into this range. Okay, and of and course, just explain one or two of the ranges that we have. Well, we have the traditional French hunting coat, uh, yes. which is the long one for the gents up there on the right. Uh, we do the uh, same version for the people that are playing um, the hunting horns. Uh, we have the, the no, all. That's very popular. Sorry to interrupt you on it that. It is. Hunting yeah. horns is big business here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. We have um, probably about 40 or 50 different groups that are amongst our customers. Really? Uh, spread all over France. And of course, they're not only playing at the hunt, they also do a lot of weddings and ceremonial I work can as hear well. Them in the background we there, can hear them getting tuned sound. up there. Yep. Wonderful sound. Um, we've also got the uh, what they call the tunic d'invité, uh, which is the all black. Uh, tunic, which is for people who are invited or guests at a hunt. Oh yes. Um, once they become a hunt member, then obviously they'll have their buttons and they'll have more, the decorations added to the coat afterwards. Yes. Um, we also have the waistcoats, which are tailor-made as well. Yes. The typical French ones, which have a V cut at the front, etc. Yes. Um, and again, the britches, which Bridges are which match, are quite again. important. Full important, officers yeah. cut. Um, yes. which is something which is quite rare again today. Yes. Um, we can offer them in any one of about nine different colours. And of course the traditional footwear as well. Yep, and then you have your uh, tall boot which is based on the, um, the uh, cavalry boot from yeah, uh, way back like when. Boot, yeah. uh, protects you quite nicely and of course goes great with a long coat as well. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, and then we have uh, a few different things as yes, well. Yes, because I, I know you do have one or two new ranges. It's not only the hunting that you cater for as well, the vintage vehicle. Yep, we're, we're at uh, Goodwood Revival every year, uh, the Le Mans Classic every couple of years and other big events throughout Europe like that. Yes. Uh, we have a range of boots that are um, designed to go with the vintage vehicles. Yes. Uh, that can be 
vintage planes, vintage motorcycles, vintage cars. Yes. Uh, we supply a lot of people who are doing long distance rallies, like the Peking to Paris rally. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Every year, or every year it's run, we always seem to supply the the people with the oldest car <laughs> in the race. <laughs> Oh, that's um, nice. Which goes, which looks great. We've just supplied uh, some uh, boots into people who are doing the London to Brighton as well. And good. And of course, now with the clothing range, it's allowed us to add a few extra interesting things to it, uh, which are not only um, useful for people driving vintage and veteran cars, yeah. but also for people who are doing traditional carriage driving, yes. which is. Um, a uh, sport certainly in France which is up and coming. We have a uh, couple of events here that we attend every year. People come over from the States, they even come from Japan, uh, from the Middle East. They bring Amazing. the most wonderful carriages and um, spend a wonderful weekend in the sun generally, you know, driving, showing them off. And of course now we can supply them with everything from their boots right the way up through to, uh, you know, their jackets and, uh, and overcoats. Wonderful. Well, I mean, thank you very much indeed for explaining that. And I, I knew we had a lot to, uh, to expect from you this year. Uh, looking forward to seeing some of the articles that are going to come through. Uh, more importantly, I know you're going to be sending some photography over and we, we, do, and we do look forward to that. And uh, again, to all the Field and Rural Life readers, um, uh, just remember that if you do have any specific requirements, Ian and his team can certainly cover everything that you do need. Thanks very much indeed, Ian, Thank and you. a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank you.